since I am from a technological background, right? So let me ask quite a few technical questions to you. It's not going to be interview questions. Don't worry, right? Okay. How many of you here use a Windows operating system? Raise your hands properly. Stop using them. Okay. How many of you here use a Linux operating system? Again, stop using them. Okay. How many of you here use Firefox? Again? Perfect. Okay. How many of you here use internet? Again, what? Stop using them. Okay. I'll tell you why. Okay. These are all like a double sided sword. You never know what's really happening. Whenever, for the first time, you go to a website like youtube.com, there is a message box that pops up and says, install this ActiveX component to continue. Install, don't install. Yes or no? What do you do? How many say don't install? OK. So people say install, which means that you really do not know what's getting installed. Probably it's a malware also, isn't it? You get? OK. I, I notice this trend, at least in South India, OK? In, uh, Indians, especially South Indians. Whenever there is a message box with the next button or OK button, OK, our mouse, right? Our mouse pulls our hand there and clicks it. OK, are you sure you want to install this virus? Next. Are you sure you want to form a D drive? OK. No, all these weird things happen. I, I notice a very interesting message. It says, keyboard not phone. Press F1 to continue. OK, very interesting ones. So. The interesting part here is, why is it all not secured first, right? See, being from an ethical hacking background, I am very passionate about how things work. I try to demystify it, reverse engineer that, and see how we can make it secure. You understand? OK. My question is, OK, let me give a small intro about what I've been doing. I'm a computer science engineer by graduation, and I graduated in 2006. Since then, I've been working for four years after that, right? So I have been working for eight companies in that four years, which averages around one company every six months. How bad? No HR will like me, right? OK. So after that, I started off my own, my company. It's called Infisec. We primarily focus on information security. We want to make the world, the digital cyberspace, a secure place to live in, right? OK, I, I just want you to think of something like this, right? OK. About our uh, Infisec, we, we have a training division with which we have trained over 25,000 students overall spanning 160 plus universities across India. Right? OK. Yeah, that is supposed to be a clap session. OK. OK, I want you to imagine this. What if, OK, just go to that moment and imagine yourself, OK? What if you wake up one morning just to notice that your ATM card is empty? You don't have money there. Happy? Who's that? Whose card do you have? OK. What if roads and traffic control signals were hacked and compromised by a Pakistani hacker somewhere there, and he is actually changing green signals to red signals? OK. What if dams and reservoir control systems are compromised and controlled by a remote attacker? Right? What if a 12th standard passed out kid becomes a PhD holder the next day. Oh my god, I did not know this option. OK. What if Indian politicians win elections because of electronic voting machines being hacked? Wow. OK. Uh, the, these are all some potential areas of threat that I, I see, no, I foresee. And that's the whole reason I am very concerned to create such engineers who can actually fix these kind of problems. Do you understand? OK, I keep saying this. There are only two types of companies in the entire world. Two types of companies, simple. One, the companies who know they are hacked and companies who do not know they are hacked. Right? So which means that every one of us are already compromised somewhere or the other in the past. Do you understand what I mean? Yes? OK, my question. How many of, uh, just imagine a day, OK, where you don't have a debit card, don't have a credit card, don't have a mobile phone, don't have a computer. Who's that? No problem. Nimmadi are gone. Okay. Just imagine that. 
there is a saying okay they say love it or hate it but you cannot live without it that's the stage we are already in right we are already standing on the digital era right we have uh, how many of you true answers okay how many of you go to a uh, central station to book your railway tickets true answers cross your hearts and say okay three people how many of you book it on irctc okay yeah some of my friends say that uh, irctc website is a mmo rpg game massive multiplayer online real role playing game right okay so uh, cyber crime has costed over damages over 110 billion dollars last year last year alone right okay this stats which says 110 billion dollar right this is a stats officially announced which means that there are stats which are not officially released there are variety of banks and financial co uh, companies that gets compromised and obvious reasons they can't let that information out yes or no yes okay so okay as a security startup company ourselves we we been striving hard to educate and impart knowledge in to people wherein they get aware of cyber security threats right and they start handling things in a better way right for example say say i ask sandeep his credit card would he be interested to give me no okay but why test part in one's life is doing what people say you cannot do i'll tell you the best mo i see i i am an engineering student and i did not clear my mathematics for five times oh my god this is a session where you're not supposed to clap okay i'll tell you mathematics 1 2 3 4 no 4 dsp and something else okay discrete mathematics wait wait i can sense you okay my mathematics teacher kept on encouraging me over and over she she spent a lot of time sitting with me individually trying to help me pass it i'll tell you i never passed right it was my seventh semester i did not really pass okay she was fed up okay and uh, she says hey, you get lost i'll tell you you will never succeed i'm not going to waste time on you anymore i'm going to sit with the other guy who's my friend harsha okay he is like having seven max papers okay so he they they started to focus attention from me to him and they started preach him right and uh, you know this is the kind of motivation i really wanted you know where the max teacher comes and say we know you will not clear it hey come on that's a very interesting challenge you know that semester i had 12 arrears overall excluding max right so at once i cleared everything right all the okay this is a place to clap okay i pure i mean i believe truly that i believe truly that the best part in one's life is doing what people say you cannot do how many su support my course yes okay now i am going to try take a step to transform the it digital or the cyber uh, you know scene on the internet to become a lot secured environment right we do not have a lot of people getting into information security roles in the organizations yes or no right so this attempt is to make students know how attack is done and how we can prevent it they say the world's best security administrator is the best ethical hacker yes or no which means say if a police wants to identify how a thief is robbing okay he needs to know the tricks of the trade yes or no yes or no so similarly i am doing a free workshop for students on ethical hacking right and here i am going to try make a record and this record i'm i'm combining three records at once one is india book of world records yes okay this is the time to clap okay two asian book of records three guinness book of world records okay and this time microsoft already has a record which says microsoft app fest which happened in the 2012 they had a overall participants who were actually doing the programming okay there were 2567 participants right and they currently hold the maximum number of uh, you know people who uh, made this big uh, event at one location okay 
So this attempt that we are trying to do, we are planning to accommodate 3,000 students in one place, and we also have something called Capture the Flag, where we actually give a simulated environment and we ask you to hack our live server. Do you understand? When you hack it, you will know how to prevent it. Do you understand what I mean? We make a, with our experts, we have a, uh, made a framework which is actually hackable. You can actually hack it, right? We then give solutions to prevent those attacks. Yes or no? Okay. So I invite you all, and uh, if I have supporters from here, I would love to invite you all, right? And you're all invited. That's a free of cost program. And interesting part is for who all attends it, you all will be getting a World Book of Guinness record, record holder certificate. <laughs>